Hello, this MoTeC video is to introduce you to our new CDL3 track kit. When you receive your kit from your MoTeC supplier, it will contain a number of parts. Firstly, the CDL3 dash logger itself, which can generally be pre-configured to suit the vehicle that it will be used on. Next is a 10 Hz GPS for vehicle speed, track mapping and lap timing an SLMC club shift light module, two pre-wired buttons for changing the display and acknowledging alarms, and a terminated and labelled wiring loom. An Ethernet cable is also supplied for downloading log data or if the customer wishes to make a change to the CDL's configuration. There's also user manuals and software provided with the kit. We can begin by plugging the wiring loom into the main CDL3 unit. Anyone familiar with our current ECUs will instantly recognise the connector. Each branch of the wiring loom is clearly marked with a label. This will make plugging in the other devices much easier. In this case we have the two pre-wired buttons. The next devices to be plugged in will be the SLMC and the GPS. Special care should be taken at this point to check the labels to ensure that devices are plugged into the correct connector. If the GPS is plugged into the wrong connector and the kit is powered up, the GPS will most certainly be damaged. The CDL3 loom receives power through a standard vehicle power adapter, although this can be changed if a more permanent solution is desired. As with all MoTeC products, it is possible for the customer to add options to their CDL3 track kit to suit the specific needs of their vehicle. The first option to consider would be a connection to the vehicle's engine management unit, or ECU. A CAN connection adapter could be used for an ECU that uses CAN type communications, such as the current range of MoTeC ECUs. An RS-232 or serial connection could be used for older style ECUs, perhaps a MoTeC M4 or M48 ECU. For modern factory fitted ECUs with CAN based onboard diagnostics, an OBD adapter is available. Whichever of the three ECU connections the customer chooses, the specific adapter will connect to the CDL3 wiring loom through the branch labelled ECU. A curly cord extension is available for those customers who may wish to have their buttons mounted on the steering wheel. This simply plugs in line with the normal button connection on the wiring loom. The final option is an auxiliary input-output loom. It is used if the vehicle requires extra sensors that cannot be wired into the ECU. The CDL itself will require an upgrade to accept these extra sensors. Now for installing the CDL3 into a car. For this video example I have used a standard BMW 3 Series. The ECU information is being read from the factory OBD port. The GPS device is magnetically mounted to the roof. The CDL3 power is connected to the car's power adapter. The OBD adapter is connected to the car's OBD port. And all that is left is to turn the key and enjoy the car's new addition. Thank you for watching and for further information please feel free to contact your local MoTeC supplier or visit MoTeC.com.